Well, she grew her Instagram following into a self-published book of poetry that blew up and gave her an international profile. Now, author Yersa Daly Ward is back, this time with her new memoir. My little brother and I saw a unicorn in the garden in the late 90s. I'm telling you, neither one of us made it up. It was as real as anything else. That Sometimes is Daily Ward reading the prologue from The Terrible. It's a mix of poetry and prose, raw with emotion and dealing with issues of race, family, identity and faith. And we are pleased to welcome Yersa Daily Ward into our studios this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I think that was such a great video, uh, almost like a multimedia uh, interaction with, with your words. What's it like to hear yourself saying your words and having something like that on top of it? It is surreal, but it's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful moment. It really is. Um, the, a memoir can be tricky. Uh, yes. You know, it's like what an artist, who, a musician who puts out their greatest hits album. When do they do it? At what point do they put that signpost down? And it's not necessarily something that you need to do at the end of your career. Why was it, though, something that you want to do now? Well, it wasn't intentional. I didn't know that that was going to happen. It kind of happened by surprise. I was actually trying to write something else, a, a fictional book about oh, yeah. children and magic. And, and this, you know, when you have a story and it's in the way, mm -hmm. it, it comes out regardless, and I couldn't stop it. So here I am telling my <laughs> secrets. And, and what is the terrible? The terrible is, for me, that thing running alongside your life, the thing that if you don't make sure that you come face to face with it and really understand it, it can trip you up. And it can be anything, it can be depression, bereavement, loneliness, whatever it is, whatever your personal terrible is. So it was kind of a tongue in cheek, like personification of this little monster that you have to deal with. <laughs> Um, I watched an interview of yours and you said that you write about things that you've never spoken about before and you posted yeah. on social media, if you're afraid to say the thing, write the thing. So does that mean that writing is safer than saying? It depends uh, who you are. Uh, for me, mm -hmm. it definitely feels like my, my area of strength, my area of comfort. So, it, yes, I have found myself writing about things that I never thought I'd say to another living human. What, you know, words can be, really can be a bridge, uh, and they can link someone who feels isolated into a larger community. We talk yeah. about it a lot here uh, at, at, at this network because we're part of a larger conversation around mental health and destigmatizing mental health, and really one of the keys is, is to be talking about our issues and our problems yeah. in the hopes of finding a community that we can lean on. What has been the reaction of fans to the words that you put out there? Well, it's wonderful, because I really think that talking saves lives. And just speaking to people who have similar experiences or, or who feel seen is, is, is really the reason to do the work, the only reason. And so it makes me incredibly happy. There is a stereotype out there of the tortured writer, the, the <laughs> living in turmoil. Uh, uh, you seem like someone just um, bursting with life and positivity. Yeah. Where does your... Where does your inspiration come from, if not from a place of pain? Well, don't get me wrong, I have been the tortured yeah. person. But I think when I realized why I was doing what I was doing and, and there was a greater purpose to it, that's when everything started to fall away. And, really? and the difficulty just, just, just stopped because I knew what I wanted to do and I knew that there was an intention behind it. What do you think of the term Instagram poet or Insta poet? Uh, I said, the eyes rolled there for a moment. Wow, it's such an interesting term. Uh, I think poetry is poetry. Yeah. I just choose to put it on Instagram because mm -hmm. it's a wonderful way sure. of sharing the work. And so this term Insta poet came around and, and some people don't like it. I don't mind because I think it's wonderful that poetry is getting in the hands of, of so many people. Well, it democratizes it. It does. And I think it, it's only a matter of time. Once more and more people get used to it, it's the thing that will, we will just get used to that term. Like online yeah. dating. Oh, yes. Ten years yes. ago, if you said online <laughs> dating, people would think one thing. They don't think right. that anymore. You're so thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you for sharing your story and all the best to you.